Good morning, my people. What do we got here? The backhoe. Oh yeah. We're down here in Troy, New York, starting a project on a textile company. We're gonna do some loading dock uh, concrete aprons. So last fall we did this. This was a ramp all the way up here. We excavated the dirt out and put crusher run in. Uh, and we are gonna match the existing here of concrete. So we're gonna saw cut this blacktop, pull all this blacktop up, take out the crusher run down to six inches and pour concrete back in six inches with a broom finish. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Just match this over there. That's phase one and that could be done during the week. This is phase two. We have a tractor trailer loading dock that uh, is this one. And what happens is these trucks sit here overnight in hot heat and over years, it just settles. And you see the back tires, how they're down in and they build it up with crusher on or whatever. And then in the winter this gets water and then they can't get out. So we're gonna concrete apron it, it holds up a lot better. So I think we're gonna be cutting this one just only back to where the back tires are. I think here, I'll have to get an RFI on that. But yeah, this one only could be done on the weekend and it has to be turned back over for Monday. So for Friday evening, we'll probably come next Friday evening, cut this, rip it out, pour it to Saturday, and then Monday will be open. So. That's it, uh, next weekend, and all right, stay tuned. We're gonna get started. All right, guys, first thing I'm do, I drove a pin down in there. Gonna get a range back to this existing piece of concrete. And when we first saw cut that last year, we ranged this to get that saw cut. So, right about there. Hold it with my foot, snap that. And then we will saw cut. Perfect. guys we're getting the black top out back hose a finicky little piece of equipment bouncy rouncy should have brought the skiddy down skid steer would have we've already been out and graded so we still got to take six inches out of here but i didn't know how thick this black top was in the back hoe with the hoe i could chop through it uh because when we took out this ramp here it was real thick you know it was eight ten inches thick of black top so that's where we're at. Gonna continue on getting the black top out. We're almost full probably. And now I'll get that unloaded. Check back. All right, we got a full load of black top, all the black caps out, and the backhoe got fired. We are going to get the skid steer once we drop off this load. We'll bring back old Rusty Musty, and uh, we'll finish her out with that, bring some form boards. The backhoe is just hard to grade with. We got tight spots all in here and we don't feel like raking out and shoveling as much as we have to as we got concrete tomorrow. So we will be back. All right, we got Miko filling the air on the skinny off the compressor on the truck. Once that's established, we're going to be getting the rest of this crusher on out. I got some grade marks real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. So these grade marks, 34 and a half inches down from our top. 
I took a couple shots on this concrete, 34 and a half, so that's gonna be, excuse me, I'm wrong, 34 and a half to our sub base. Uh, I shot and I calculated six inches down from that. And then uh, we'll cut all this out. You can see how much material has to come out here. About six inches there. We'll take all this, and this is good crush room. We'll repurpose this stuff. Definitely, that's why I didn't want to mix it with the black top too much, so. That's where we're at. It is probably, uh, we're late in the day now, but we can't stop because we got tied up. At noontime, we had to go look at a job real quick. Yeah, it's almost two o'clock. So we are, uh, we're gonna knock this out and try to get this thing formed up because we got concrete coming tomorrow. These people need this to work. I mean, there's 50, 60 trucks in here a day in and out. All right, check back. Just dropped off that load of crusher run at the shop. We'll repurpose that. Miko's got this looking pretty good. He's fine tuning it. Got a little crusher run left over here that we'll have to load out and uh, just fine tune the rest of this. Then we're going to put up some strings, laser, make sure because they got a drain in the center right here, catch basin. So this is pitching, this is pitching. So we're going to shoot these two ends. To make sure, uh, see what we got here. Because if this ends higher, our, our, we got to match existing here. Can't have no lips. But we know it's pitching this way. But we don't want the water to pitch this way. So we may scupper this to get it to go out. We don't know yet. We're going to shoot that right now. But yeah, things are shaping up. And uh, late in the day. And we are still on schedule. at the end of the day we got everything uh, complete as needed Mustang going back home and uh, everything's boxed out in the morning we will tamp set our boards on the inside here because that black top is not too true and we're gonna set a board right here set a couple grade stakes and we'll pour this at 11 a.m. so stay tuned to see the pour Good morning, my people. Next day, wires here, tamping the sub base. We got our forms all the way in. Use shims on the back side so that we can get that board out afterwards. Then we'll cold patch that in. Uh, yeah, everything's shaped up. Just give it a quick tamp job, install the wire. Concrete's on schedule. We'll be pouring today. Jack, concrete's on the road. It's just about 1.30. Got all our wire grade stakes in, compacted. 
tools, coal chute to reach all the way back here. This is an aluminum chute, 16 footer. We'll hook that right to the, the truck's uh, chutes with a chain. Then we'll be able to reach and we won't have to pull so much because this is real thick. We got seven, eight inches this pad. Uh, it, only, it only called for six, but somehow we got eight, so we give them a little more, whatever. Um, so we're, we're just waiting on concrete and stay tuned. All right, boys and girls, the Crete is here. Miko is here. Yeah, we're happy. We're happy, we're happy when we can pour. So here we're at, here's where we're at. We're gonna let her come in and we're gonna pre put a bead right down this and use this as a wet screed, pick the wire up as we go and then we'll fill in, in between the screed. We got to fight. We got two concrete drivers fighting. Get him! Get him! <laughs> I know. A little mud wrestling going on between the drivers. A little mud wrestling. All right, guys. We got this fiber screeded off. We're going to hit this one off as soon as this. We get some uh, traffic out of the way. Had a little fun there with the drivers. Look at him. He got me m messy as hell. Uh, yeah, that driver was mad at that driver for not moving, but whatever. We will finish this, screed that off, and then hopefully we have enough. I don't know, last truck, gonna be tight, gonna be tight. We just ordered, because it was super thick, and uh, we ordered a little extra on the last cuff, but uh, yeah, stay tuned.
all right guys we got it all in the battery died so you couldn't see too much after i think the second we got till the second truck we can't leave our truck over because this is the only uh this square right here was in the sun the rest is all in the shade so of course we're gonna have two different finishes and with broom finish it's real uh different looking when it dries versus wet so we can't leave the tires gives us another five six feet of shade there almost got it all but yeah so it's it's knocked down and uh bull floated we'll probably hit it with either the bull float one more time my handles on my Freds no, aren't long enough to reach this. We thought we had the adapter, but we don't. So we'll probably both float it one more time. He's going to knock down a pin right now. We have a great stake hanging up right there on the bull float. So he's going to take the bar and he's going to give it the old hooty doody. Don't fall in, Meeks. One handed and he's going to tap her down. Da dink, bink, done. That's it. And we'll both float back over that and we're good to go, huh? Sweetness. Look at me today. I'm working. All right, check back. All right, we'll just give him one more bull float hit before we broom. And we're going to broom it off. All right. All right, guys, all finished and broomed in, edged all down slicked off come out good nice and flat all the it's dead level in the back and then we obviously had to file the black top so it's like a, it it was actually tricky because it's twisted you know what i mean but it all it all works out you got to follow your elevations but you got to stay with that elevation in the back and this is the lowest point right here but yeah should be work out real good for these guys and uh this is phase one of this project phase two is right where that tractor trailer is we're gonna rip that out now i'm probably gonna get a change order on it because i realize uh we need a catch basin down there just talk to the driver and it just traps so much water so there is a pipe there for drainage we're just gonna have to tie it into either with a catch grate basin something but uh, I'll have to figure that up. And uh, so we'll do that in a couple of weeks, probably once that gets approved. Um, but this one tomorrow will be saw cutting. And uh, yeah, I won't finish this video till we saw cut. So saw cut it tomorrow. You'll see that. And then we will upload. All right, guys. Catch you tomorrow, bub. All right, guys. Back on site this morning. Everything's looking good. Uh, solo today. Miko had all the arrangements. So just saw cutting and laying out when you're by yourself don't strip the boards first so you can put your screws in so you can get a good uh straight line all right guys this one's a wrap all saw cut 10 foot squares 10 by 10 uh we'll be back monday which won't make the video but we're just going to cold patch this join in with uh with some uh cold patch black top and this one's done for phase one and we'll be back for phase two over there on the loading dock uh for the tractor trailer ramp we got to cut that out and like i said we got to change order i got to come up with uh to put a catch basin and something to do with water i'll have to come back down monday when we uh patch this and measure things up but uh other than that yeah this is good we're just going to grade up here monday too over on this bank behind me and uh yeah thanks it's saturday <laughs>